This is just a quick disclaimer that this video contains some fan-made narrative points that shouldn't be confused with the actual Destiny story or lore. With that being said, here's the full Lightfall Nuzlocke stitched together for your enjoyment. Whether you haven't seen any of it or you're just watching it again, you're in the right place. Timestamps for all three episodes will be on the timeline, and I've included a little behind-the-scenes compilation at the end if you're interested in that sort of thing. I'm very proud of how this turned out, so without further ado, I hope you enjoy. It's that time again. In today's video, I started a brand new character and have six hours to prepare for a solo legendary Lightfall Nuzlocke. Now, what the hell is a Nuzlocke? Well, it's actually a fan-made game mode from Pokemon, where if one of your Pokemon faints, it's considered dead and can never be used again. What this essentially means for me in Destiny is that every time I die, in the Lightfall campaign of course, I must dismantle the weapons I had equipped at the point of death. If I run out of weapons, then it's game over. There are some other rules as well, but I'll go over those when we actually start the campaign. The goal today is to gather as many weapons as I can in the 6 hour time allotted. You all seem to really love the Witch Queen Nuzlocke, I know I did, so without further ado, let's begin. I'm not growing a garden. Of course we start by making a new character. We picked Hunter for the Witch Queen Nuzlocke, so this time I wanted to play either Titan or Warlock. And of course, if you've seen the thumbnail, you know I picked Warlock. Between the three, I have the least experience playing as a Warlock, so this is bound to be interesting. My Hunter was an Exo, so this time we'll be in a- Oh my god! After a lot of tweaking, I eventually settled on this look, really leaning into the Warlock yellow. Given that you guys have watched me do the New Light section twice now, I'm just gonna speedrun this part and start the six hour timer after the New Light quest is finished. Okay, of course we start off by getting Kvostov, stubborn oak and killing this walker. We also reunited with our best friend. I realized that you can actually make the heavy pikes fire faster if you tap the trigger as opposed to holding it. This is holding the trigger, and this is tapping it. Also, I'm pretty sure these objectives are coming directly from the traveler. Seems kind of aggressive. We rescued our best friend and made it to the tower, which was interesting. Though after Lightfall, Bungie gave Zavala some more New Light dialogue, which was nice to hear. We also of course got the Risk Runner quest, and with that, the New Light stuff is done and we can begin the 6 hour timer. Also apologies for the stream footage, my Nvidia just stopped working, but luckily only for a couple hours. I noticed Iron Banner was up and grabbed some ritual quests. We gotta get our other subclasses too, I forgot about that. Oh of course we want our supers, let's grab those. I also bought some glides and fragments, then meditated and began acquainting myself with the Warlock arsenal. Okay, that's why Warlocks are good with Devour. So this is the quest I'm talking about. If you have Lightfall, we can get Arbalest back. Unfortunately, if you know this quest, then you know our progress will be halted sooner than later. Speak with Defram K in EDZ. Thumbnail, that is a weird looking ship. <laughs> I grabbed some bounties and did this Lost Sector for Risk Runner. On the way out, I realized that because I have Lightfall, that means I also have the Season of Defiance pass. Boys. That's cool. All right. Well, technically our first exotic. This also brings us to the last step of the Risk Runner quest, which had us killing some fallen, getting a tutorial of the Warlock jump, and claiming our second exotic. Oh. Risk Runner, huge. Risk Runner is great for ad clear, which will almost certainly be great in the Nuzlocke. I'm almost worried. I'm worried that the Nuzlocke will be too easy because I'm now ready. Look, watch, I said that, now we're gonna fucking lose. I decided to check the quest archive to see if there was anything that may be useful to us, and boy, am I glad I did. Oh my God, sweet business. I'm telling you, we're not gonna lose. We're way too prepared. I don't, I don't think we're gonna have enough time to get this or this. I picked up the sweet business quest and also grabbed the Malfeasance quest just to have it. All right. So now that we're a little into our adventure, I want to implement a new mechanic that we didn't use in the Witch Queen Nuzlocke, that being a starter exotic. This of course being a play on starter Pokemon from Pokemon. Now since this account has Forsaken, that means I get three Forsaken exotic ciphers. This basically means that you can pick three Forsaken exotic weapons for free. Now I'm not going to use all three because I think that would be a bit unfair and because in Pokemon you can only pick one starter. So we're going to treat this the same way. As many of you pointed out, we have Forsaken. Now I know we're already looking at this and we're already like thinking of the choices, okay? Now, obviously we know one of them's gonna be eaten up. And in the chat, let's, let's, no, <laughs> we're not doing that. No, bro, no, I didn't even see it there, dude. I Our choices are Ace of Spades, Last Word, Lay Monarch, Jotun, Izanagi's, Thorn, Lumina, Truth, and Bad Juju. Say what you want me to pick. And the ones I see the most, I will put into a poll. I can't even fucking, you can guys chill. Now the three I saw the most were Jotun, Izanagi's, and Le Monarch. With these three starter weapons, I set up a poll and the voting began. The Izzy would make quick work of the Tormentors, but you gotta be good with it, which is something I'm not. I swear on everything holy if we don't get Jotun. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's see what we've got. I would be happy with 
any of these. I kind of want to pick last word. <laughs> After a few minutes of voting, leading by about 15%, one weapon came out victorious. Ooh! Vic! Bungie wants us to play Gambit, so we'll go play Gambit, and you know what? We'll invade. I grabbed some bounties and hopped straight into Gambit for the rest of Hour 1. Yeah, I am fortunate enough to never have been grabbed by a Tormentor, but Duck was. He was violated on the first mission. <laughs> It's back, it's back, it's back, it's back, it's back, it's back. I'm sure it'll happen to us at some point. Oh shit, that's Gallarhorn. Shit, that's- Oh my god, Jotun is stupid. Jotun is stupid. That guy's a threat, let's get rid of him. Okay, well, that didn't go as planned. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. Oh shit, not even Jotun. But Kavastop, okay. Oh shit! Unfortunately, we lost our first round, but got something kind of unexpected to drop. A gambit memento? I don't even have a gambit memento on my main account. Yeah, how does that work? Is it just like a rare drop? I honestly didn't even know this was a thing. It seems like every time I do one of these videos, something really lucky happens. Whether it's a lightning round in dares, arbalest out of a paraversal hall, or this memento. Spoiler alert, this isn't the end of our luck. I also updated our drip. With this. We'll go with this for now. Take Riley's Hot Wheels colors. <laughs> for now, we will be an emissary to the Hot Wheels man himself. I then did another Gambit match. Oh, can we get two in one shot? Get out of here. Oh my god. Back up, back up. Please, 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 please. Shit. There we go. With our victories, this takes us out of hour one and into hour two. Unfortunately, the gunsmith then told us to kill stuff on Neomuna to get Arbalest. So we won't be getting Arbalest this time. We have to do shit on Neomuna. No. Although we did make progress in our season pass. Solar? Oh, we're going to get stroke in the flame. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I checked Ada's inventory and found this very red shader, which of course I bought just before heading to the treasure hoard, grabbing some bounties, and shifting gears to Dares of Eternity. Just kidding, we went to Mars, realized I couldn't use the Enclave, and continued to Dares. The first Dares round was uneventful, though we did get a sniper and some strange coins. In the next game, I completed the quest for both our Solar and Arc subclasses. Oh wait, I have... Yoink. Fuck you! I got another sniper and returned to the treasure hoard to cash in my spoils. We'll get one, and we'll go ahead and open it with one. Let's see. Treasure keys, okay. My treasure keys got us two BXRs, two Wastelanders, and two retraced paths. At our current rate, if we die three times, we'll have no heavy weapons, so we'll have to figure that out. Also, don't let me forget this sweet business quest. Stormcaller, let's go. And of course, Dawnblade. Of course, we immediately got Well of Radiance, followed by the Healing Nade and a menagerie of other aspects, fragments, grenades, and supers. Yes? Why does she sound so uncertain? Because I'm in a clan, I was able to get some weapons from Hawthorne as well. Nice. As our first act of Hour 3, we entered the Iron Banner. Fuck. Is that Lehman Arc? Yeah. Oh, fuck. Okay. Get out of here. All right, get out of here with your Lehman Arc. All right, that dude's not weakened. Oh, neither are you. Holy fuck. It happened! Let's go. Let them come. Let them come. What do you mean by that? Top three. I'll take it. I, I know who was in front of me. I know this guy was in front of me. I'll be nice once, then I won't. I really wanted to do a raid, so we got a team together and set our sights on the Vault of Glass. The opening gave us a found verdict. Confluxes is awarded a vision of Confluence, as well as an exotic to Memento. Then, Oracles gave me the boots while Templar dropped a corrective measure. We then lost Flawless to the Gorgons, and the secret chest gave me another found verdict. Just what she does, zombies, zombie stream. An, an Easter zombie stream. Just really get all festive. On Verruckt. <laughs> You've committed oh, crimes against work. Skyrim and her people. What say you in your defense? Is, is it um, true? There's a guy right behind you. <laughs> oh, shit. Now, Gatekeeper is really when our loot started to spice up. Oh, a Fatebringer! Oh, Firefly killing wind. I will take that. I love Fatebringer, so this made me pretty happy. Of course, finally, there was Atheon, which we did correctly this time. All right, let's see if anyone gets Vex. No one got Vex, but I did get a Praetor's Revenge, which made for some pretty good variety coming out of this raid. The we are- Oh, shit. Um, why are we starting the Lightfall? They tried throwing me into Lightfall, but we're not there yet. Almost to the end of Hour 3, we're halfway through our time, and the heavy slot is still looking pretty sad. So, I went to the Gunsmith and bought a Typhon, Eternity's Edge, the Farewell, and the Judgment of Kelgarath. This brings us to Hour 4, and as as you can see, our vault is looking pretty empty. I don't think we have enough weapons to survive this campaign. Going into hour four, we want to pad out the inventory. For that though, I want to finish the sweet business quest, but not before updating the fish. 
I returned to the newly liberated throne world in search of public events, somewhere I also found this jacket. Three public events and a high value target later, we were tasked with getting 150 assault rifle kills. It's perfect, because next up is Crucible. Finch had some gifts for us, and then we shifted gears over to Iron Banner once more. Here, we also met a familiar face from our purgatory on the Dreaming City. Oh, I couldn't do the same for him. Oh, shit. Okay, okay, this is getting wild. What the shit? Can anyone tell me what that was? Peek it, peek it, peek it. There we go. Okay, wait, wait, you ready for this? Yoink. Sound tactics so far. Auto rifle, auto rifle. There we go. No, I'm out of ammo. Oh, this is an L. We're not missing that one. It's gonna be my goal to not place a single well during this entire Nuzlocke. Oh, Shit, that was ooh. Our first match actually had a pretty good yield. And ooh, that's some good loot. The nice thing about Iron Banner is it gives you two engrams at the end instead of just one. This will come in handy when we start focusing gear a little later on. Because I've always thought that Dawnblade was like the coolest subclass in the game. If I could get one exotic, I think I would want it to be Sunbracers. Just because I don't even know what Sunbracers do. I just think they look so cool. A third of the way through our quest, I tried using Crate, which wasn't a good idea. So I swapped back to Herod, which was considerably better. Okay, we'll do it. Wow, I am liking the way this super feels with like Icarus Dash. That's really cool. This match wasn't quite as profitable as the last one, so we stepped into one more to round out this exotic quest. Now I'm but a shell of what was. Um, that that's like my big limitation. Oh shit. Okay, worth it. Double kill. Oh shit! <laughs> Round 3 was a lot of fun, and now that we have some engrams, I return to Saladin. Fortunately, the only thing I could focus was a rocket launcher. I'm gonna get another Roar of the Bear, because we still need more power weapons. I threw some things in the vault and went to see what I could get from Shax. Never mind. Alright, we got boots, so... Oh, we can focus a Riptide, which we're 100% doing. I ended up focusing three Riptides. One had Feeding Frenzy Vorpal, the second had Under Pressure Demolitionist, and the third had Auto Loading and Snapshot. To round off Hour 4, I did one last Iron Banner match. Right, that is a bright-ass Titan. I won't lie to you, this round was pretty bad. I really struggled to get a kill with, well, anything. Fuck me! No! <laughs> oh, that was such an L. Shit! But eventually, I got the last kills I needed for this part of my quest. How we won and how I wasn't in last place, I have no idea. Make peace with the enemy. The arb? Oh, uh, well, that's that's actually... We don't, we don't, A, we don't have our blessed and B, the catalyst isn't great. Our first order of business in hour five was to finally claim the sweet business exotic auto rifle. Not sure how useful this will be in the Nuzlocke, but having it makes the Titan in me happy. A, we got a finisher. Nice. And now we're gonna pivot and go to Dares of Eternity for probably like the next hour or so. Hour five is all about Dares and really filling out my inventory with weapon fodder. It's also an excuse to use sweet business. I've never really played with it. What the fuck? I made some progress on my Verglass catalyst and the rest of the game went as expected. Game 2 also ended on Valis to Arc, but this time, something really cool happened. It's, it's, a, it's a cool one. Ooh, a lightning round. Let's go. This is my second one ever. Against the odds, we actually got a lightning round. Last time I got one of these was way back in this video, and it wasn't even on my account. If you don't know, lightning rounds can sometimes very rarely happen at the end of a Dares of Eternity match. I believe there are some ways to increase the odds of getting one, but they're still quite rare. I've never gotten one of these on my main account. This bonus round was basically just a game of control against the Taken. There's also a special enemy you can kill for a triumph. Completing the lightning round, towards three chests instead of the usual one. Oh wow, look at that. Oh yeah. Thanks. Let's go, man. W for that. With that out of the way, I did one more game of dares and returned to the treasure hoard. The obligatory sugar cube. We want paraversal halls. We, we gotta do one more dares probably, right? First one, scathe lock. Can we get sun bracers? Let's go. Nope, but a brass attacks. Let's do it. Star Horse, bless this paraversal hall. So cool. Ooh, okay. Okay, I'll take that. All in all, that was three games of dares and 11 new weapons to show for it. Just kidding, we grabbed the Forerunner quest, did one more game of dares, and cashed in all our treasure keys for a total of four games and 19 weapons to show for it. You need a better sparrow for the sparrow race at the end of that one mission? There's a sparrow race spe section in Lightfall? Oh, we also have bright dust to spend. Is there a sparrow I can buy here? <laughs> to kick off our six, our last goal is to get the Vex Caliber exotic glaive. I collected all the data clusters and ventured into the simulated cave to help Asher Mir. I 
first attempted to do this solo, but quickly realized I didn't have time for that. So I enlisted the help of one of our Discord mods, Biff, as well as Panini from the live audience. From there, we were able to make our way through the rest of the mission. Which mission will be the hardest? Probably headlong. A linear. We still don't have a linear, I don't think, so... That was a tub of you nade. People were talking about, you know, oh, we want secrets in Destiny, you know, and I do too. I do find it funny when people are like, we want secret missions, and then they data mine the game. You know, it's like, how cool would it have been if this Vexcalibur mission just like popped up and we didn't know what Vexcalibur was? This mission was really bringing things down to the wire. At this point, I only had about four minutes left to complete this boss before our time was up. Boys, we have like one minute to get this done. We have like one minute. We could do it. Thunder crash him. Yeah, let's go. Right on time. With quite literally one minute to spare. Oh boy. There it is. We got a strand auto rifle. Cool. With that, we return to the helm to claim our final prize. There we go. Our last act of the preparation. Vex Caliber. Dude, I love this exotic so much. And thanks again to Biff and Panini for helping me through that mission. Now, we got a pretty oh ugly warlock on our hands, so we gotta make him look presentable for our big adventure. We tried a bunch of combinations, and amidst that, I clicked on that very red shader. Let's just see how- oh my god, that is a red warlock. Give it- okay, an Eververse engram and a Defiant engram. That could be armor. Let's go to the war table. Let's see. Maybe this- maybe this engram will come in clutch. Probably not. If we can get a sparrow out of this, that'd be cool. Hey, yo, let's go. Ask and you shall receive, lads. Armor is what I'm hoping for. A bow. I got some shaders from Eververse, but our live chat kept coming back to that ungodly red one from earlier. Oh, wow. That is nice. I'm not in love with it, though. <laughs> we could have the Supreme jacket. Wait a minute. <laughs> oh, my God. We could have a supreme jacket. That would be so fucking stupid. Unfortunately, after I mentioned it, our viewers immediately became attached to the supreme jacket. I did my best to fight it, but about 20 minutes later, we ended up settling on the full supreme. <laughs> And honestly, it's grown on me. It's very different from our hunter, but I think that's a good thing. This guy is gonna be going toe to toe with the witness. Fuck. Hopefully. Okay, she literally just turned around. Please, Ikora, please. Will you look at me? Definitely let me know what you think of the Sorcerer Supreme down below. After grabbing a couple more fragments, this marks the end of our six hours, and we're ready to begin the Lightfall Nuzlocke. Either I recently gave myself six hours to make as much progress as I could on a brand new character. I did this to prepare for today's challenge, that being a solo legendary Lightfall Nuzlocke. For the uninitiated, a Destiny Nuzlocke goes as follows. Every time I die, I have to dismantle the weapons I had equipped at death. I can't use any dropped weapons with the exception of the first legendary dropped in each of the eight missions. If I run out of weapons, then it's game over. There's also an exotic clause, so if we get an exotic out in the wild, we can use it. And just like Witch Queen, there are eight missions in Lightfall. Will we make it through in one piece or fall at the gates of the veil this is my absolute favorite series on the channel and this one is no different so without further ado let's get into it I mean, you said you would turn on your radio every day at dawn. You said that you would turn on your radio I every did. day at dawn and you were not there we don't want to put our fate bringer on the line just yet or our vex caliber or corrective measure for that matter so we got 69 weapons in here okay that's not that many <laughs> i filled the party and decided to rock void for that oh so sweet warlock devour now if you haven't seen this video i highly recommend you watch it for the full experience but if you just want to start now here's a small recap i of course got all my subclasses with a handful of aspects and fragments to boot while i didn't get any exotic armor i did get a handful of exotic weapons those being risk runner ver glass curve jotun Sweet Business, and Vex Caliber. After establishing a very primitive mod setup, it was time to begin the first mission. Oh yeah, here we go. Become Legend with the Nuzlocke modifier on. And, and boys, say it with me now. We're gonna be more careful this time. We are gonna be more careful. We're gonna be more careful this time because I have this thing in my inventory. Now going into this, I was really nervous because I didn't want to remake the same mistakes I made during the Witch Queen Nuzlocke. The adventure begins right now. Let's do this shit. Mission 1 started with us traversing the underbelly of a Cabal ship. I also completely forgot that legendary difficulty takes away your radar. Not long after this, we made first contact with the enemy. Now, this is probably a good time to mention that me being a Titan main, it's gonna take me some time to get used to the Warlock playstyle. Given the Cabal setting, there are these exploding barrels everywhere, which makes my situation a lot scarier. Okay, no, 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 that's an explodey barrel. The Titan in me wants to rush him with half-truths. It wasn't long before we got our first legendary drop of the run, that being Contingency Plan. Oh, hey boys, Contingency 
Galaxy Plant. That's our first legendary drop this mission, so we can use that. Eventually, we killed the Colossus and met Callus. Oh shit, it's him. Sparrow mission will be interesting. Is there really a Sparrow mission? To answer my question, yes, there is a Sparrow section, and it's in mission three. She oh, get that shit away from me, dog. Oh fuck! <gasps> no! Shit! No, I'm gonna be more careful, I swear. I cast my first super, almost missed this jump, and got jump scared by the first tormentor. If the if you want me to take Oh fuck! I didn't know it was that soon! That's so scary! I completely forgot about these guys. It's we have basically Oh, get away from me. Shit. oh my god. And don't worry, we'll get our fair share of tormentor action later on. Okay, can we just get rid of all of these? God. Oh my goodness! I need a well! I need an adult! Holy shit. After nearly being jumped by that gang of scions, I made my way to the warlock jumping tutorial, which, after some close calls, I'm I'm blanking. Shit! Shit! Oh my god, man. I passed with flying colors. I fought back the cabal, destroyed the ship's radiators, and ignored these chests, cause, well, we can't use them. The hangar section also went on without a hitch, which brings us to our fight with the tormentor. I know you're here, come at me. No, Rousey, don't you? I'm gonna pop his shoulders, then I'm gonna Nova Bomb him. Oh, there he is. Oh, hi. Is he, is he enraged? He's enraged, let's do it. Oh, it didn't. All right, come at me. Oh, I didn't really mean it. Do we dare use a sword against him? It might actually be effective, but it's, I know it's not smart. Just for that. Oh. We are gonna send him forth. Oh my God, he going crazy. He really begging you, he's finishable. Fuck you, come here. I'm grateful. The day will come when you won't be. Let's fucking go, boys! We're too good. After this, I took a victory lap and rallied with Osiris to head down to Neomuna in style. In all seriousness, we will probably eat shit at headlong, and we will probably eat shit during the Callus fight. We might not even use Strand. Devour is just, it's too good. Let me switch over to Solar. Oh, boys, it's Strand time. This was my first time using the Broodweaver subclass, and I was really excited. Strand missiles detonate into Threadlings. All right, three, two, one. Oh, that's so cool. Dude, look at them go. That's so cool. I love animals, so being able to command these little threadlings does put a smile on my face. Oh my god, that is so satisfying. We had to give up this power for now, but with that, we rescued Osiris and earned our first badge with zero deaths. Needless to say, I was feeling pretty good. In the following cutscene, we meet the champion of the Neomuna region, Emperor Kallus. First there was Sabathun, now there's Kallus. Although we still have six more badges to claim before we can fight the Gucci Rhino. Also, whether you love or hate the design, you gotta admit, the Witness has a damn threatening presence. Also, hats off to Bungie and the cutscene team. These cutscenes look amazing. Someone said my warlock looked like a first. A first. <laughs> Someone said my warlock looks like a first grader in kindergarten. <laughs> what the? F I cleared out my post box just to avoid confusion and got my seasonal artifact, which I had some upgrades for. We got bricked up. Volatile flow. Volatile flow or bricked up. Anyway, this brings us to mission two, where things start getting a bit more treacherous. I'm not gonna lie, I don't remember anything about this mission. About half of this mission is defending this plaza area against the cabal, which mostly went on without any problems, so I started feeling a little invincible. Oh, come on, come on, just, just oh my god. Kind of rough. <gasps> Yeah, this is not the last time the Warlock jump will get me into trouble. Okay, you know what we're gonna do? I'm gonna be more careful. W. W. A. Oh my god, really? Our legendary for this mission is a sword. I deserved that one, let's be real. With the four Cabal Bastions eliminated, I moved on to the firefight section, which also went without many issues. Let me deal with these gladiators in the ways of old. Fight me. Fucking fight. Okay, come here. Oh shit. Oh, oh shit. Oh my god, we're gonna die. We're gonna die. Let me get out of here. Okay, there we go. There we go. Oh, oof! Now, it may seem like I was playing kind of risky here, and, well, I definitely was. Since I still hadn't died, I was kind of just tempting fate at this point, which is something that'll bite me in the ass real soon. I'm still ass with this super, by the way. Oh, but it doesn't stop it from being the coolest super in the game, dog. Now, this room is a lot less forgiving than the last, which is definitely not something I was anticipating. That's a dog! Oh, shit. We still haven't died yet. I'm not feeling ballsy enough to just charge in there headlong with a sword. 12 seconds late. Oh, that's a boss. There will probably be a death in there. What is this guy doing? Oh my god. Let's. No! I saw it coming! The 
balls started falling and I, I, I knew, oh shit. We literally just got boned. No way that just happened, man. You know the drill, let's just sub in our other Balihu. We'll, we'll use the bow, because I want something ranged. We gotta get rid of Balihu. We'll go retraced path. You wanna see me do it again? Yeah, I can't do it. Oh, dude, oh my god, it almost fucking happened again. No, no way! Back to Bali Who. I don't have a lot of heavy weapons. So after those two deaths, I was not taking any chances. It took quite a long time, like 20 minutes actually, but eventually the boss fell over. Wheezy, there we go. Oh my God, boys, let's go. This of course marks the end of mission two with two deaths and securing our second badge of the Neomuna region. It's here that we had another encounter with champion Kallus. He knows what we're up to, so it's time we attack his ship directly. But first we got to infuse our armor so we aren't trailing behind. I restocked my party and we set our sights on mission three. This mission began with a little shootout against the cabal as we attempted to board their ship. Is this the one with the, the sparrow section at the end of it? I think it is. This was all going great until this phalanx decided that, well, he'd had enough of my shit. Shut up. Mm. Oh, shit! What? <laughs> that was my fault! Wait, wait, no, we can, we can live this. We can live this. Oh my god. I'm gonna swap onto a pulse. And I think we will actually go double primary for now. Okay. Uh, we don't have do oh, come on. Why are you running? Why are Bro, you running? Yo, they know! That was a little annoying, but after dealing with these guys out front, I moved on into the ship. We have a legendary we can claim. Yes! Huge! This is our only linear fusion rifle. This might make that double tormentor room bearable. We gotta get rid of this. Wait, did we get crate first or tie? I saw a tie pan. Wait, so what happened here was I got two legendaries to drop, Crate and Taipan. But since I picked up everything at once, I didn't see that we had gotten Crate as well. So while Crate technically may have been the first, since I actually saw Taipan first, we're counting that as my legendary for this mission. And a damn good one at that. And if you don't like it, I don't know, leave. Outside of not having any exotic piece of armor, I was also concerned about our lack of precision weapons. So this was really nice to have. And up here, let's... Oh, fuck, it's a turret. That was close. Panel uh, bio. Oh, fuck. I'm glad you guys like it. Oh, shit. Fuck. No, damn it. I got distracted by bread. We're going to swap on to you. Kind of, kind of, kind of. This is a bad spot. I need my abilities. I am nothing without my abilities. There we go. He's finishable. Okay. Oh, child of the old gods. Go. Actually, we could just... There we go. I was a little concerned about these jump pads because I had died to them on launch day, but we made it through unscathed. Oh, dude, this room. So here, I decided to lead with Void for the ability spam, Devour, and for taking a chunk off the Tormentor's health. This was the first mission we really struggled with on launch day, so I wanted to take it extra slow. Have you named your Child of the Old Gods yet? What should we name our Child of the Old Gods? Maybe this won't be so bad. Decepticons Tormentor number two. I don't really want to get caught with my pants down and surrounded by taken scions. Come, on, come at me. Oh shit. All right, that was a little close. Let's not even lie to ourselves. That was very close. Thank you, thank you, good eye. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, he's enraged. Where is he? There he is. Not gonna let him get close enough for the grab. And we have our super. Okay, this is good, this is good. Shit! No! Alright, that's not that's not super surprising. Oh, I forgot we had sweet business. Damn. Let's let's use our sniper, okay? We're still gonna use our swords because I just I don't wanna risk the precision. And we'll use the farewell. Double kill. Triple kill. You valid. Overkill. Sniper is free. There we go, child of the old gods. Slow him down. If that's even something you do. Okay, okay, okay. That didn't drop him, but it got him real low. Oh, he's finishable. Come here. Not a fight. Nice, all right. Now it's time to pray that this doesn't kill us. It shouldn't, it shouldn't. That is, oh. Moving on from there, we're faced with this room. I didn't think much of it until, oh, what? What? That's a Colossus. Shit, man. How are we gonna get up there? He has an arc shield, which is gonna be hard to drop with anything but the sword, but I'm not just gonna run up there with a sword. Ah, and you have a void shield. This is unfortunate. There he is. Okay, cool. He's still... I think we can take him. Hello, motherfucker. 
This room, man, this room. I do have this sparrow that is faster than my other sparrow. The final section of this mission is a little scary. It's really hard to find a safe space here since the ads come from more or less all angles. Oh, fuck. On top of that, there are these Axion bolts that don't make things any easier. Take myself a shot. Oh, I hit the Axion bolt. Rip here. It's a strand shield. Of course it is. Lucky as hell. Did we learn our lesson? Absolutely not. Appetizer, huh? Let's hope Callus puts up a good fight. He's talking a lot of shit. I went ahead and captured both sides to have both orbs on the field at the same time. Um, this may be a... This is a Nova Bomb kind of moment. We'll come down here with this. Get all these kills, which will heal us. Proc Devour. Let's go. We... Shit. Shit. Devour. Literally just saved us. We're in the trenches. There's no going back at this point, boys. We are in the trenches, and this is where we're going to stay. We want a well, and we want it now. Can this thing explode? I really hope not. Go. Child of the old gods, go. Okay, that, that's really the only plan. Shit. Oh my god, that was... Yeah, he's going to shoot. We got him. They just don't stop coming, man. Okay, at some point, we're just going to have to go for it. Or maybe... Yeah, I'll take it. I'll take it. And now we capitalize. Damn it! I could have saved that if I was a titan, or a hunter, or anything but a warlock dog. No! We're gonna use Veriglass Curve. I really liked that farewell. I guess it is indeed farewell. Brass attacks. This rocket launcher. I'm feeling pretty good about it. We have some, uh, some precious cargo right now, though. While the first attempt may have humbled me a bit, I was feeling pretty confident now with Veriglass Curve. There we go. Oh, yoink! Wow. Wow. Oh, fuck me. Show me all you have to learn. I'm gonna die. No way. To devour. Go. Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't really know why I left that, but I did. I should be dead. We're gonna ruin this guy's day. Oh yeah, feel the power of stasis. I almost just fell off the map. Okay, we need strand and we need it now. Let's look within, you're damn right. Give me Threadblings. Nice, nice. Oh my God, boys. It's a little too close. Get out of here. That's how it fucking feels. All right, we're swapping off a of bear glass. Hey, come on, Keitel. We could use some help. Save me, Keitel. Oh, yeah. All right, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. It's time, boys. Okay, Empress Thresher, please help. Oh, shit, there's a fucking tank in here. No, damn it. Oh, uh, all right. Well, we took off bear glass for a reason. Shit, I don't want to risk anything else in this slot, though. Okay, we're going to pardon our dust. No, we're going to Riptide, because we have a lot. We're going to pardon our dust, and we're going to this. Shit. Uh, and Eternity's Edge. No, this one. I like Eternity's Edge too much. Okay, we gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. We'll do it this time. I, I know what to avoid. Oh man, I don't wanna I don't wanna go this way. Uh we're just gonna have to go left because we don't wanna fight that tank. Although honestly, f it, I I'll take the tank. Okay, okay, okay. We just stay as far away from them as possible. That's a lot of tanks, man. Okay, let's go. Oh my god. With that, we completed Downfall and claimed the third badge. This mission was the deadliest so far with five deaths total. I was just thinking about you. I returned to Nimbus, then went to restock my party from the PC. I am concerned about the heavy slot. So we have five heavy weapons here, six here. We have 11 heavy weapons. That's not good. 11 more deaths until we are out of heavy weapons. After Saint and Osiris, his argument as well as some nimbus banter have you gotten to see the farm yet <laughs> i headed straight into mission four no it's the vex one if you ask me i think i i think they're more annoying to fight than cabal oh let's take advantage of ambitious attack <laughs> That's a wyvern. This mission was actually pretty uneventful, so forgive me if I speed through it a bit. Y you know what really grinds my gears? Thinking hobgoblins, man. Okay, we have a heavy. Oh my god. We 
earned the respect of Nimbus. We get a legendary. All right, boys, let's see it. A crate. The fucking crate came back. Whatever. Oh, shit. Having two shots and your nade launcher is just amazing. All right, we're just gonna lead with the super. Oh, please hit. It, it kind of hit. At least we're somewhat safe in here, you know? Oh, they're waiting. Okay, the moment this breaks. Uh, are you finishable? Please. Okay, thank God. That's a good question. Oh my God, come on, guys. All right, last one. Let's do it. Oh, fuck. Okay, okay, we're just gonna... We're gonna drop them. Let's go. All right, no deaths. No deaths, we're good. This final section is the scariest part of the mission because you basically have to fight two tormentors at the same time, but not before a little strand platforming. Let's be careful. I mean, we're, we're good with strand. We'll, we'll be... I need to just stop talking, man. Damn it, man. The ambitious assassin, Vorpal Pardonar Dust. I know, I know. Roast me in the chat. I can't even. Dude, we're having the silliest deaths. Damn, man. Okay. We want... Okay, I guess we're not using Riptide. Oh, fuck, dude. The double tormentors. Oh, my God. I did not rally. This is not good. We, we should probably just accept our fate. I could switch, but it, I feel like it'd be a little risky, you know? Let's swap to Riptide. This one is Under Pressure Demolitionist. All right, come here. Oh, my Lord. Let's not get grabbed. Hi. <gasps> okay. Yo, no yo. Oh, shit. Fuck. I'm gonna die. There's no way. I'm so dead. <laughs> Oh my god, no, dude. Oh, shit. Uh... Hey, it was bound to happen. Vision of Confluence, because we want precision. Damn, there goes our first Riptide. We'll do Red Herring. Might want to use Corrective Measure. Let's try that. It's a little risky. So we want it to be just us and the Tormentors. So we can... Okay, that's him. Okay, nice. There's one arm. There's two. Let's reload. I'm gonna actually Nova up there since a bunch of ads also just spawned. He's finishable. We're going for it here. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Devour literally is saving my ass. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on. Come on. We can take him. We can take him. Come here. Drop him with the finisher. Uh, oh, we gotta use Strand again. I'm not complaining, I'm just worried. Now right. Oh my lord. Huge, massive comp- Okay, oh my god. I didn't know if that was supposed to happen or not. Nice! GG's, boys! Just like that, we're halfway through the Lightfall campaign with Mission 4 only claiming two deaths. Although, if you've played Lightfall, then you know the second half is far more treacherous than the first. He got me thinking which is a compliment I can give very few people. I took a break for the night and came back the next day for mission five. I think, is this the strand one? And so we also, we actually managed to get through. Okay, damn it, man. It's, oh my god. This is the mission where Osiris teaches you to use Strand against a bunch of Vex. Not to be confused with a mission coming a little later where Osiris teaches you to use Strand against a bunch of Vex. Anyway, I finally decided to give the Jotun Well combo a shot. Like, if Jotun goes out at Kallus, I'd be alright with that because, you know, at least it had a good run. And we still have yet to get a random exotic to drop, which I really hope happens at some point. I used Jotun for a bit, but decided to take it off just before another Strand grapple section. Just in case I make an oopsie. Oh my god, yeah, that's why we took off Jotun, man. How many deaths are we at now? We've had nine deaths total. I can't remember halfway through the Witch Queen campaign how many deaths we had. Fuck me. Oh, we can swap back onto Jotun. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, wait, no, we're, we're just about to swap back onto Strand, so no, let me actually no, just take this off. No. This begins one of Lightfall's two training sections, and honestly, this mission is really short. Oh, let's see, be a weapon, be a weapon. Oh, but it doesn't even matter. Okay, we got a heavy. That's great, that's great, but I need to live this for that to matter. Okay, huge. Palmyra B. That's a great weapon. Oh my god. That was almost corrective measure. Shit! Oh. Okay, that dude, they just hit me with a barrage. Other than that, not a whole lot happens here. Oh, we just gotta drop him. We can just needle storm him, right? Let's see how much reach this has. 
Oh, look at that, man. This being the shortest mission in Lightfall, I made it through with zero deaths, easily claiming the Strand Badge. We caught a break with this one, but all good things come to an end, and these last three badges are no different. They're going to attempt a link. We have to stop them. Sneaky Link! Osiris really needs a ghost to explain to what a pond is. What is this attraction? You're right, what the f what was he talking about? Heading straight into mission six, I popped on Jotun expecting the beginning to be fairly light, which of course it was. We also have this guy. Once we get in the tanks, this Jotun is coming off. Oh shit, there's still a lot more dudes in here. Ooh. Go get him, Threadlings. Look at my children. Oh no! Ooh, it does splash damage. High likelihood that one of these is gonna be a weapon. Let's see what it is. Oh, okay. Uh, is this a tank section? No, not yet. And we didn't rally. Oh, that's a tank. Oh, this is a scary part. I really didn't want to die to the tank, so I spent some time at a distance with corrective measure. I also still have Jotun. Eventually, for some reason, I just decided fuck it and walked onto the battlefield anyway. Okay, do not let me forget about that tank. Oh, now it's right there. Okay, we're backing off. We're backing off. Take toaster off. Yeah, you might be right about that. Although, after some time, I came to my senses and put on sweet business. All right, okay, dude, I literally just, you equip sweet business and become a titan. Dude, something about that just scratches a primal itch. Let's, uh, let's pop a well. Not a well, a, um, this thing. Can I drop that phalanx or just something up there? There we go. This turret, let's take that out. Take the scion. Nice. Whoa! Jesus, man. Okay, that was that was a little close. That was a little close, and it remains close. Oh, oh, we get Strand. I see you. Let's drop him. Let's see how much one Needle Storm does. Okay, we literally just <laughs> delete. Oh my God, I thought we died, man. I Okay, this is coming off now. This begins the Drake section, which was scary to me since the vehicle segments can get kind of chaotic. Did we already get a legendary this mission? No, we didn't. Hey, a rag, rag, the shotgun. Nice. I think we got one of those in Witch Queen. I'll take it. I went as methodically as I could, being sure to drop every interceptor in sight. About halfway through this, though, the live viewers started a huge super chat train, and I would be remiss not to just acknowledge it and say thank you. Seriously, this isn't the only time this happens during our adventure. I was and still am floored by the support. I know this isn't much, but thank you, all of you, seriously, not just the wild super chatters. And I hope these videos make your day just a little bit better. Oh, this part. Okay, okay, let's get out. Let's get out. It's about to get real, boys. We're gonna pull out the corrective measure there's gonna be a big tormentor boss okay we're definitely not busting out fate bringer do yet. you like calluses big cabals mate you know what we may actually be able to just kind of sprint by these guys i'm gonna try this oh boy all right we're going full full hunter mode right now fuck it we ball oh there he is that's a big dude okay now he's enraged come at me come at me oh but not that fast still on the ground Okay, okay. Oh my god! Okay. He's, he's... <sighs> okay, okay, okay. He's dropping pretty quick, though. He's dropping quick. And we got rewind rounds. Dogs. <gasps> Let's just lay on the trigger. We, we absolutely got this. There we go. Okay, no deaths. Love to see it. Absolutely huge. Oh, nice. We can pop the strand shield. <gasps> oh, shit! I didn't know that was a window, bro. All right, let's just keep spamming supers. Drake time, once again. Let's, let's, let's Drake, please. Anyway, one more tank section later, and I reach the sixth gym leader. I've heard bad things about this guy, but we're pretty prepared, so we should be okay. This corrective has not swindled us thus far, so I don't see any reason to take it off. Um, but this shotgun's not gonna be much of a help to us. We also do have Vex Caliber, which could be decent if we swap over to Void. Ultimately, I decided to head in using Will, a sweet business, a retraced path, and corrective measure. We'll go in with sweet business. What are you gonna do about it, Rohan? I'll buy you some time, light bearer. Okay. Oh. All right, we're we're squaring up with this guy. Yeah, we're throwing down a well right now. Holy shit! Oh, we're a titan at heart. Let's go. We do have an incandescent retraced path. Let's not forget that. Oh shit. Hopefully, I can. Okay, we'll stay back here for a bit longer. That's, that's, that's okay. 
Oh my god, sweet business is so cool. No, I'm down. Alright, there we go. Oh, that's a tank. Okay, we gotta go down. Oh, fight me. Ooh, not like that, though. Alright, there's gonna be another dude around the corner over here. A couple dudes, apparently. Okay, let's get strand. Oh! Shit! Fuck! Oh, man, that was close! <laughs> okay, uh, can we... We have to destroy the suppressor first, right? Oh, we're gonna die. There's no way. There's no way! Shit! I'm stuck! No! Sweet business! Dude, we got stuck! Oh no, man! And corrective measure! Dude, damn it, man! This thing carried for a while, I'm not gonna lie. Shit. Damn, man, that hurts. Oh, I have to unlock it, man. Everyone say bye, sweet no, business. No, 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 no. Damn, man. We're actually gonna use Typhon. You know, I'm gonna lead. That maybe wasn't the smartest thing to do, actually. That- There we go, there's the damage. Oh, wow, wow, wow! Shit! Damn. Okay, there goes Azimuth. We got this, we got this. Do you think we could just hurl this? Uh, no, nah, fuck it. Okay, it went for the Scion. If we can survive this, do anything. Ooh, fuck that. Got it. Shit, man, I don't want to go out there. For all the marbles, boys, drop the suppressor. Please live. Give me orbs, give me orbs. That gives us health. Yes, yes. Give me more, give me more. There's a Drake, there's a Drake. Oh my god, shit, we need to get to that Drake. We really need to get to the Drake. Holy fuck. Okay, 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 okay. We have a very short window of time. There we go. Okay, give us strand. Right where the tank spawns. Needle storm. Don't die. There we go. There we go. Summon Drake. Huge. Headlong, Rohan. Shit. We need another tank. No, we don't. No, we don't. Fuck the system. Weeball! Let's go! We are taking some hurt. That's not gonna kill us. We'll be okay. Oh my god. We gotta go. We gotta go. Back to the spawn. Back to the spawn. Melee you. Melee you. We have seven rockets. Let's do this shit, boys. Is that a gladiator? Go, go, child of the old gods. Where is he? Where is he? I see you, motherfucker. Strand. We need strand. Where, where strand? We gotta go up there, man. F that. Okay. All the marbles. Devour. What? We're doing it. We're doing it. We can do it. Do it. Look within. Oh, let's go. I'm all the way down here, bro. I can't do nothing about that. He died an honorable death. All in all, I earned the Drake badge with only three deaths. It may not seem like much, but this is a pretty substantial blow to the team. While this badge brings us one step closer to Kallus, it also brings us to arguably the most challenging mission in all of Lightfall. That, of course, being Headlong. Oh, he's getting pissed. Apologies. Infinite apologies. Yeah, that's easily the coolest cutscene in Lightfall. Oh shit, is it time for Headlong? It is time for Headlong, isn't it? Let's talk to Nimbus. Rohan always says. <laughs> Rohan always says. I infused Verglass and Vex Caliber, did this strike for Nimbus, and set out to beat Headlong. I've been stressing about this mission. It's time for Headlong. Second to last mission. Also, here's how our vault's looking. With two missions left, this really isn't great. How is he holding his scythe? I'm confused. I don't know how that tormentor is holding his sight. It's time for the Karate Kid sequence. Takes. Oh, wow. <laughs> Ebb and flow. Oh god, oh, there goes Osiris, Rohan's Pokeball. So Headlong begins with us testing out Strand against some Vex. Oh, whoa, 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 We also have to do some minor puzzles to open doors, and honestly, I'm not sure what the point of opening them was, but whatever. Either way, this is essentially just the calm before the storm. Needs to have our colors for these last- <gasps> That, there's a Cyclops behind me! Holy shit! Oh my god. Was he? He was right there! We do have rockets, which is- <gasps> Oh my, not a whole lot happened here until I made a severe lapse in my judgment. <gasps> How'd I live? I don't know. Locate and enter Osiris's training program. Oh 
Oh, that just let them through. The true. Oh shit! I'm scared. I'm worried. Well, what are you waiting for? I took a moment to appreciate my party and the journey thus far. I knew going into this that my inventory probably wouldn't look the same afterwards, but this is the last badge standing between me and Callus, and there's only one way we're gonna get it. Good. Embrace where the current takes you. Wait. <gasps> no. Please. Oh shit. Thank god that didn't kill us, man. Platforms, platforms. Man, I have not been in here in a minute. Let's go. Drop the hobgoblin. Oh shit. Okay, okay. Oh, get me out of here. There we go. There we go. Oh shit. Okay, we gotta see for this one. I forgot how good you are. I don't wanna risk that. Not bad. Oh, we can do it. There we go. Yep, there he is. Bro? Ah, oh, shit, man. Okay, okay, okay. It's okay, it's okay. We're gonna go up here. We're gonna pop a well. I hope. I hope we can live this. We certainly can. Yeah. Yeah, we can absolutely live this. Oh, we're Spider-Man, boys. Oh, shit. Drop this guy. Oh, my God. Shit! Okay, that's my bad. It was it was bound to happen. That's one headlong toad zero. Oh, I should have been fused. Boys, we have five more heavy weapons, by the way. Round two. Alright, nice. We got a lot of heavy right there. That's awesome. That's perfect. Spreadlings out. We can we can use one heavy on them. Drop that guy. That should make it. There we go. Oh wow, that thing still fuck the red. It has it has a hitbox. Oh, I didn't know that. Petition to rename the Threadlings Tadpoles. Oh man, I'm stressed. Hide behind the portals. That seems a little too cheesy. I don't want to cheese anything, you know? Oh, let's just be a little careful. That thing moving faster? Completely dodge that. We have a lot of tests. Let's see what the next test oh is. Oh my god, he can oh. do that? Okay. Just get out of here. I, I want you gone. Mm. Man, it's all right. It's okay. I think. <laughs> does, does Risk Runner make any sense? And use the overshield to live through the red. Does that sound like a good idea? I'd go full send and use Taipan. Let's give this one more shot with just like random shit. That was really close. You really had to do that. Wow, there's really not a lot I can do about that. You're joking. Shit. We might go full tilt. We still haven't gotten a legendary this mission, by the way. Okay. If we're gonna use Taipan, maybe maybe Verglass? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Right, I don't want to do it risking Fatebringer. Or we could, I mean, we could just say fuck it, we ball, and go Fatebringer, Vex Caliber, Taipan. Do we say fuck it, we ball, and go Supreme Fatebringer with Vex Caliber and Taipan? No, no. <laughs> I'm going to die. Maybe not. You know what? Fuck it, we ball. All right, Vex Caliber, boss spec on. Let's give it the look. Let's do it. Live long and prosper. It's time to ball.
Guardian. Guardian. Guardian! Steki, will you please just let me die in peace? Look, I know you think this is over. It is over. You and I both know that's not true. Fatebringer's gone. Vex Caliber, sweet business. You still have the others. There's two missions left. If you can find a way to beat Headlong, then it's just Callus and us. And I'll bring you back as many times as I can. I was speechless. I knew putting those three weapons on was risky, but it was also my best shot at completing this mission. Vex Caliber. Here's what we're gonna do. Well of Radiance and actually, okay, bear with me here. I, I can't not have a heavy on. Pretend like I don't have a heavy on. I'm just not gonna use this sword. I don't wanna use this sword right now. I made some changes to my very limited mod setup and realized that I can't actually start this section solo without picking up Strand. So we're gonna have to use it. Oh, Bungie, why? All right, let me just give this another shot. In my next attempt, I ended up dying just before the boss was at half health. Okay, I'm gonna pull over my Praetiths, okay? I ended up leaving to go get some infusion fodder so that my weapons could do optimal damage. Let's get some infusion fodder, let's just go to a public event or something like that. Oh? So apparently, even Bungie wanted me to take a break for the night. With the servers being offline, I had the next day or so to myself to strategize. So I was thinking about Headlong. Yeah? Back in the Witch Queen Nuzlocke, we had a Boudicca that we sacrificed for a second chance. This is our last, last chance. A lifeline, essentially. So, if we follow that same logic, then we should also have a lifeline to use in this Nuzlocke. What are you gonna do with it? I'm gonna get back up. So here's what our vault's looking like right now. I did some grinding off camera for infusion fodder, and some interesting things happened. First of all, I got an exotic through my season pass. Now, I wasn't sure if this counted since my six hour prep time was up. Fortunately, I didn't really have to ponder for long, cause, well, there's... If I get sunbracers from this, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Ooh, it, it was gloves, I thought it was sun bracers. While I was grinding, I also found a Vex Strike Force, which guarantees an exotic upon completion. This I felt does count because for all intensive purposes, it is a random exotic. And if you remember the rules, there is a clause for that. But even if you disagree with that, don't worry, because it still doesn't matter. Please be something good. But don't even worry about it because during my short time on Neomuna, I got another Vex Strike Force. I was only grinding for like an hour or two at most, so this was pretty lucky. Unless we get really lucky, this is probably my last shot at an exotic. So I was really hoping for a good one. Let's go! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Oh! Did we do it? Yo, let's Give me something good. Okay. I may not realize it in the moment, but Transversives is actually going to be really useful since its exotic perk is pretty much always in play. With all my weapons up to level, it was time to jump back into Headlong, but not before using our lifeline just to be safe. What's in it for me? Uh, an apple? A glass of lemonade. Oh, <laughs> I'm in! Mr. Riley Reloaded, here for one life to help us take on Headlong. Mr. Smoothie, are you ready to tussle with the muscle? Are you ready, Mr. Smoothie, to see the paradigm of a quirked up white boy goaded with the sloust and deliver you from evil? I will be Vegeta, and you will be the baby minion in my arms. Let me tell you the features. I got Karnstein gloves right here. That's to keep me alive. That's pretty much all. You see, I've also donned my strongest bucket hat. That was the first thing I noticed, actually. As I've said before toad smoothie fish fish want me women fear me <laughs> keep in mind if he dies that's gg I, I can clear out areas in the bottom if you want to stay on the top we both stranded up that could probably work i guess i'll go firefly my fate bringer not fate bringer you ready wait wait wait, wait. hold up <laughs> all right there we go 
Oh wait, shit, that's not it. <laughs> Boys and yeah. girls, toad smoothie, Riley reloaded. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Ah. Yeah, yeah, I should've. All right, let's do it. Oh, and I'm stranded, powered. Oh yeah. Nice, nice. You got the sniper? There we go. Oh my god, this dude's still alive. Oh, careful, careful. I got you, I got you. Stay alive, stay alive. Hit him with that needle song. Um, I think we're still good. Oh, it's going smooth. It is, it is. Oh, watch the red, watch the red. I've got the spatial awareness of a forklift driver. My spidey sense is tingling. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, oh that boy right there. Oh, watch it, watch it. Nice needle storm. Fat needle storm. We got this. Oh. Oh. Oh, careful, careful, careful. Oh, he's so low. He's so yeah. low. Oh, no. oh my god. We could blow on him. I'm do I'm going in with the sword. I'm doing it. I know it's risky. I believe you are a horrible person. Pray for me. Pray for me. Not that. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, let's go. Oh shit, I'm going to die. Fuck. <laughs> We're fucking pray to survive. <laughs> worth it. It was worth it. Oh, this guy. And I was so worried. I was worried too. I thought that would have uh, gone a lot worse. Rip Freydits and Bottom Dollar and Eternity's Edge. Shit. All right, it was worth it. Gameplay right there. <laughs> I won't lie. It felt really good to finally step through that portal. Yeah, you rocked that shit. I, had, I honestly had, did not test out this build at all beforehand. <laughs> oh, wait. Can I get a legendary? Nope. All right, we got a kinetic. That's fine. That's fine. Thank you so much, Riley. I. I don't know if we would have done this without you, dude. Well, Toad, I guess that means your journey must continue. I think I must do the rest by myself. But right? look at me, Toad. Look at me. Look me in the eyes. Stop crouching at wiener height. <laughs> uh, it's like you're knighting. I'll, I'll just take it that way. The battle may be fraught with many challenges. And even though it was only five seconds, and this speech may seem like it's coming out of nowhere, <laughs> it has been an honor to fight by your side. It has been an honor to fight by yours as well. So I don't know if we're going to do it, but we'll do it in style. We'll do it in honor, and we'll do it as an emissary to the Hot Wheels man himself. And conquer anything that stands in your way, Milkshake of the Frog. May you ride with Hot Wheels fury. Goodbye, my friend. Now, we have one more mission. I took one last moment of peace before diving feet first into the final mission. Where do we have to go? Do we have to go down here? Doesn't this just push us back up? Oh! What? What did I have on? A Riptide? Dude! Yeah, it counts. I did the same thing in Witch Queen. Such a doofus. But we are actually going to be careful. Um, oh, come on. Please, no. Please, no. Please, no. Get me out of here. Please. Okay. Get Shit! What? What do you mean? That's my other Riptide! So I just realized that I had three Riptides and each one of them got done dirty as hell. We still have a legendary drop this mission. Man. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Chuck a nade. Oh, W nade! Come on, there we go. Oh, shit! Lightfall is mad that I got past headlong and now it's just throwing all the bullshit at me. All right, Stecky, what do I need to know about Callus? Well, for starters, he's Cabal. Yeah, I got that much. I mean, like, is there anything else I should know? We want to take this as slow as possible. You know what? I'm just going to Needle Storm to let the friend in. Oh, get them, my tadpoles. Don't underestimate him. He's confident. That confidence isn't misplaced. Well, let's hope mine isn't either. Because I feel like the moment I do... Did that, that Thresher just <laughs> drive straight into the building? And then if I just start... Oh, come on, another one? Man, I don't have special ammo. After a lot of back and forth with my primary, I got past these majors and moved on to the AA guns. Okay, okay, they're up there. Oh my god, man, the Thresher hurts. Callus is a disciple of the Witness now, so don't expect him to go down easy. There's a dude, yeah, right there. Okay, oh, whoa, I just got ambushed! Be a Riptide, be a Taipan, be a Heavy. A Bond. Oh shit, is that a Tormentor? Oh my god, bro. Stop moving, you know I have the aim of a fish. No, Rousey, don't you? Alright, let's do it. Let's just, let's just do this one. Come here. I took advantage of these conveniently placed explosives and received my last legendary of the run. Please, give me a Taipan. Please. Oh! The Taipan was first! The Taipan was first! Wait, wait, it was first, right? Yes! Yes! That's huge. That is insurmountably huge. Man, you have to hold it for a minute, though. Did we get Strand? Let's do it. Let's also throw some Threadlings off the edge. Dude, that's, that is so satisfying to watch. Oh, shit! Yeah, also, for members, you may have noticed it, and there's a, um, there, oh, that's a tank. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. 
Shit. This part is a lot of just defending this bastion against waves of Cabal, which mostly went pretty well until I made a fatal mistake. Now this is gonna go. I honestly, shit, what? Where did that even come from? All right, well, it was lovely while it lasted. Shit. A sniper with bear glass curve. We're gonna take this seriously slow. And that's exactly what I did. One enemy at a time and making sure to stay at a distance, I stood with Keitel in defense of the veil. Yoink. <laughs> oh shit, there's two tormentors? Oh wait, they're, are they both on Empress Keitel? Let's just do it. We got you, Keitel. That tormentor is dead, nice. I got you, Keitel. Oh! What did that guy's? He literally just appeared. Oh, oh, there we go. Come on, give me a tangle. Oh my God, they are really. Oh, there he is. Upon his arrival, Callus blew open a path to the Vale. I left Keitel to hold out against Callus and started making my way to the final boss. All right, boys. We're not gonna cheese it. We gotta treat this honorably. 1v1. I guess it's more like a 1v100. It's a long way down to the Vale, and honestly, this fight could really go either way for us. What's he saying? He's asking how many badges you have. Oh. Here we are. Let's take a moment. Let's 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 pray. With less than 30 weapons remaining, I'm gonna have to get this done in less than 15 attempts. This has been one hell of an adventure. I just want to say, win or lose, I appreciate you all being here. The support on the Nuzlocke has been absolutely insane. Let's just try to have fun out there. Gucci versus Supreme. Oh my god. I don't like the idea of using Jotun first try. Because Risk Runner's not gonna do much for us. Go in with Risk Runner. We'll lead with Risk Runner. Let's do this shit. At last you have arrived, Guardian. Welcome to this final test of strength. It's just me and you, Callus. Your reign over Neomuna ends today. Come. Let us revel in this exquisite moment! I have made you what you are! Now let us see if you were worth the effort! Hey, Guardian. Yeah? Let's kick his ass. With pleasure. Fight! It's... We want thread lines. We want them to go. Instant here. Okay, let's right. just needle storm them. We need damage. Shit. Okay, okay, to the platforms too. Shit! I didn't know we could like the needle storm. That's what DR is. Oh, come on. Got a blast. Oh, come on. What, you think you can go? We're gonna swap on to a precision weapon. Damage special. There he is. There we go. One shoulder down. All right. Are we doing this? No, we're not. Come on, fight me. Shit. Oh my god. Shit! Oh, that's over. What?! He suppressed me, dude. Not you. There he is. What? No! Get me the f out of here! Get me the f out of here! Get me the f out of here! No! Get me away! No! That's not what I want! 
I'm tired of your shit. I'll give Veriglass a shot. That's one way to do it. Those distract him. No way, bro. This is what we got, boys. This is what we got. Should I use like Dawnblade or something? Not Dawnblade, like Well? Let's give Well a shot. Let's experiment with Well. I'd feel silly for not at least trying it. I'm just gonna stand my ground. I'd be alright with that. You know, at least it had a good run. So, let me actually just take this off. One shot? One shot? What, what light level am I? I'm 1759. All of my shit is off level. One shot? I honestly couldn't believe this. Getting one shot at full health just didn't sit right with me. It didn't seem fair. Maybe we were in denial, but myself and chat couldn't discern whether what just happened was a bug or not. In the meantime, there was an entire chat in our Discord dedicated to mourning the loss of our starter weapon. Look, I'm all for dismantling things if I make a silly mistake. It glitch, glitch, no glitch. Here's a poll, you guys are gonna decide. Ultimately, we decided to cheese our way to the second phase purely to see if he one taps us. I put my Razil back at tier four to be completely fair. If he one taps us, Jotun dies. If not, then the death didn't count. Okay, let's see, moment of truth. Does he one shot us? Direct hit, right here, turn around. No, 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 right here. wait, wait, wait. wait. Okay, okay, wait, 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 wait. wait. Yes, 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 that didn't one shot us. Wanna see me do it again? Come here. That's not a one shot. <laughs> okay, okay. Jotun lives for now. Yeah, you best believe I upped my Razil after that. It's on. It's on. Okay, okay. I. I don't give a f what you are, Callus. I may have spoke too soon. <laughs> oh shit! I can't do this. First of all, Jotun's coming off, and this is coming on. Okay, okay, you guys. I'm not a warlock. How does heat rise this work? And our supers charged, boys. I'm so scared. All right, let's do it. Okay. Yep. 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 Fight me, Callus. All right, bro. All right, bro. 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 Oh. oh shit! <laughs> shit! Fuck. No! Shit! No! That's so hard. Oh my god, dude! I'm not gonna win. I'm I'm gonna be straight up real with you. I do not think we're winning. That is that's insane. Oh my god, I'm so stressed. I don't know what to do. He's too strong. Anytime I get near him, he just no. Toad, listen to me. He can throw as many tormentors out here as he wants, but you made it this far. Don't you dare let him win, okay? You're a warlock now. You can do anything you can think of. Now go be the Sorcerer Supreme and show them what a real fight looks like. You're right. Round two. Fight!
your shield again, really? Let's do this shit. Let's do this shit, Callus. Oh, look who finally decided to join us. Mr. Supreme. Come here. Oh shit. Alright, well, we're doing this again. Come here. Okay, okay. Come here, Callus. Come here! Wait, what? Did we do it? Did we do it? Let's fucking go! Yes! 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 Holy shit! Yes! Callus is no more. Did the Threadlings kill him? The Sorcerer Supreme reigns on top, you fucking slug. Dude, I did not think we would do it. Man, I'll be honest, I seriously thought it was over past a certain point, but an incredible victory nonetheless. Let's look at our inventory. That was close. You, our bless doesn't count. Wait, boys, I gotta say it. Are they teasing a final shape, Nuzlocke? We will see you in the final shape. I might be a warlock main after this, dog. I take back anything I have ever said slandering warlocks. We have a choice between the Swarmers and the Balladors, the Balladors Wrathweavers. All right, so we, we can have the Jays, as John would say. Oh, wow, those look cool. Oh, that's pretty cold. Threadlings did it. I think you're right. The Sorcerer Supreme needs his Jays. After hours of suffering, loss, and doubt, we officially beat the Lightfall Nuzlocke, and I can watch the sunrise on a grateful Neptune. I know this video took a while to make, but I really hope the wait was worth it. Thank you so much to everyone for supporting this series and allowing me to take the time to make something special. To see so many of you enjoying this as much as I do is just, it's really heartwarming. Now, my brain is fried after all this, so I'm gonna go spend some time at the beach with my friends and maybe even film a special video, we'll see. Also, a massive shout out once again to Fira and Hitagi's Table for this incredible art. The final shape is quite quite a while away, so let me know down below if you guys have any ideas as well for like a spin-off Nuzlocke mini-series for Beyond Light. There's no legendary mode, but maybe we can make something work. Anyway, if you enjoyed, oh, this is outrageous, but F it, 10,000 likes. Can we do it? I don't know, we'll see. Thank you all so much for watching, and until next time, Guardians. Alright, well that was quite the adventure, and I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you're interested, here's a little glimpse behind the curtain. Obviously, let's address the callus in the room. There's animation in this video, and quite a lot of it as compared to the Witch Queen Nuzlocke or some of my other projects. 3D animation and storytelling is a huge passion of mine, and it has been ever since I was just a kid watching Red vs. Blue. Fortunately for me, these videos give me the opportunity to learn and make something truly cool in the process. It takes a lot of time, but I genuinely love doing it. It's also really cool to see the improvement with each one. From this brief animation in How Not to Beat King's Fall, to this Riven animation in Petra's Run, to the Witch Queen Nuzlocke, Day One Root of Nightmares, and now the Lightfall Nuzlocke, I try to improve in a few different ways every time, and considering I only started doing this seriously like 8 months ago, I think I've come a pretty long way. Anyway, let's go scene by scene and I'll talk you through some of the inspirations and methods of each one. The end of Part 1 tower scene was pretty simple all things considered. The animations are captured via my mocap suit, but I still need to go back and touch a lot of things up for it to even look remotely serviceable. which is a lot of the work. The tower had already been ripped by other members of the community, so thankfully I didn't need to do much scene building aside from the lighting. Getting into part two though, things start getting way more complicated. Let's just start with the voice acting, which is done by myself, Donovan, Riley Reloaded, and I guess Callus. Yeah, you're not peeking. God damn! <laughs> Jesus Christ! You still have the others. There's two missions left. Oh yeah, I do have another one. <laughs> you still have the others. There's two missions left. If you think <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Me eating it up. <laughs> Me doing that. Come. Let Come. us revel in this moment. <laughs> this moment of this exquisite.
this moment of this, this, this exquisite, exquisite mom come. <laughs> What's in it for me? What's in it for me? What's in it for me, man? <laughs> I'm in. <laughs> I'm in. <laughs> I mean, man. Here, Donovan, of course, returns as my ghost, Stecky, and I must say, he does an awesome job. In scene two, we have myself and Stecky discussing Headlong. This basically just establishes the narrative and also lets everyone know that a lifeline is at play, which is something I didn't make as clear in the two videos as I did on stream. Speaking of the lifeline, the next scene introduces Riley, and I love how this turned out. I will say, I know there will be people that are upset that I brought in Riley to help out with Headlong, and this did cross my mind, trust me, but I knew people wanted to see us play together again, and I figured this would be a cool surprise. I also went into this Nuzlocke knowing that a lifeline was now basically a part of the rule set. So I will say, I want each Nuzlocke's lifeline to be different, and the final shape's lifeline, if it comes to that, will be different. Anyway, this was just a little space scene that I put together that, while basic, I feel does its job. Moving into the boss sections, one thing is very obvious. This is not Callus' room. The reason being that no one in the community has ripped the Callus room yet, as that process is very difficult and tedious to do. The same was true back in the Witch Queen, where I put together a little custom boss room, because because that one also hadn't been ripped. I ended up doing the same thing here, taking assets from other places in Destiny and putting together my own version of the boss room. I knew this Nuzlocke would be heavier on the animation though, so this room had to be more detailed and more appealing from all angles than the last one. Since I don't have a model of the veil, I instead used this model of the solar system to act as the centerpiece. I then used a mixture of Rasputin and Darkness assets to create my own version of the boss room, and I think it does its job pretty well. Now since the Nuzlocke name originated from Pokemon, I wanted to find subtle ways throughout to reference it. This Cabal asks me how many badges I have, which is a direct reference to the Champion League in earlier Pokemon games. Funnily enough, when my Warlock activates Dawnblade, the banter between myself and Stecky goes as follows. Hey Guardian. Yeah? Let's kick his ass. With pleasure. We actually debated changing the line to Team Rocket's iconic prepare for trouble and make it double, but I think what we have just works a lot better. Speaking of cut or modified scenes, there was also going to be a cutscene right after my Guardian fell off the map and landed on the metal beam. It would have seen Callus saying, don't die on me yet Guardian, with my Warlock then rising from the void in Dawnblade form and replying, I'm just getting started. But I cut it for time reasons. This little scene of Callus slamming my Warlock into the ground is obviously a direct reference to Thanos from Infinity War, but it was also originally planned for the Witch Queen Nuzlocke's final fight, where Savathun would have done a similar thing. But okay, let's address the other elephant in the room. So the cutscene right after I start really losing to Callus shows Stecky giving a pep talk to my guardian. I gave Stecky a green eye here because my warlock is wielding Strand and is ready to use a super, which is also why he has a red eye when I use Dawnblade. He hypes up my guardian, saying that You're a warlock now. You can do anything you can think of. And of course, my Warlock then activates the Strand Super, which is not Needle Storm, but instead takes the form of six spider legs emerging from his back. Some of you caught this in the comments, but this is a reference to Bungie's original concept for the Warlock Strand subclass, which according to them, would have seen the Warlock turning into a spider. The moment I heard this, I thought, I have to try and replicate that in the Nuzlocke, because it's just such a cool concept. And I think it turned out looking pretty good in the end. This scene was very difficult for me to choreograph since, well, I'm just one person, but overall, I think it came out looking pretty good. So you know, we're going through this the cool scene, the climax scene. Watch this fucking tormentor. <laughs> I wanted to convey this idea that there's two versions of this fight, the one that you're seeing in the gameplay, and the Toad Smoothie lore accurate version that you see in the animations. I almost didn't include the ending animation of me punching the shit out of Callus, just cause I was running out of time to work on the video, but I got it looking good enough that I thought, this looks really cool, and I think it kinda puts a nice capstone on the fight. Well that was longer than I thought it'd be, sorry I really like talking about this kinda stuff. Thank you guys so much for giving me an outlet to pursue the stream I've had for, god, like over a decade now, and learn this form of art. If you've made it to the end, I truly appreciate that, seriously. And as a reward, here's a clip of Riley absolutely shredding the mic. I need a double cheeseburger in, hold the lettuce. Don't be frontin' son, no seeds on the bun. We be up in this drive through order for two. I've got a craving for a number nine like my shoe. We need some chicken up in here. In this shizzle, for rizzle, my nizzle. Extra salt on the frizzles. Dr. Pepper, my brother. And another for your mother. Double super, super size. And don't forget the fries. <laughs> don't forget the fries.